I think that there are several elements. One is critically important that they learn from each other more candid, more helpful in their own language feedback about how they communicated during a particular exercise. I have my own opinion of what I feel that my, how I feel my presentation went or I feel like my paper went, but it's interesting to see how my peers may have different opinions. And that's easier to see from peers, I would say, than from a professor, because the professor we view as having a different standpoint, having a different intellect, um, whereas the peers we assume have similar intellects and similar knowledge as us. Um, so I think it was definitely valuable. Most of the students either ask questions of their friends or they've now started to hear about this exercise from other students. They recognize that the, the exercise itself is so real that they're, they're kind of jazzed about the exercise because they can see its applicability. So this isn't a, it was a silly exercise or I don't get where it's coming from. It's much more of, I understand this is a real exercise and there's this bonus of, I got feedback about how my team performed from people just like me on my terms, in my words. So that I think is, is one of the most important takeaways from this. A second one I alluded to in the first point, but I think is equally as important, and that is that students either reflect or know in the moment that this is an exercise which is as much I think as possible in an academic environment is very real. Communicating what you want said about a brand through a creative brief to people called creatives who are then going to create magical branding moments is fundamentally one of the most important things marketers do. And so it's real. And I think students deeply appreciate things they can see using at some point in their career, particularly quickly. And I think this is, is that way. It's a largely experience-driven class. There's not a whole lot of set criteria that, I can, that you'd be able to give somebody to prepare for it. She wants it to be a different experience every time, I'm sure. Um, just like it would be in the real world. And so I think none of this would have happened without Professor Stone, you know, coming up with these great concepts for a us. Challenge. To, yeah, exactly. challenges for us to um, sort of undertake. I mean, her experience is invaluable because she did, she got it in the real world. And for us, it's a glimpse into our direction, where we're heading. A sense of respect. Um, and it's unintended. And in the several times I've done this exercise, there are, as I review the responses from the students of what they learned, the word I see the most is usually respect. And the comments often start with this, I had no idea how smart my classmates were. Or I never would have thought of what those students thought of. Or I thought we did a great job until I saw the first team present. And then I felt worse about our presentation when I saw the second team present. And by the time I saw five teams present, I realized I was going to be lucky if our team passed this exercise. When an instructor says, I know this was a good presentation, I don't think this was as good a presentation, there's always that moment of, well, that's your opinion. When you're part of the grading process, there's no, Anne didn't know what she was talking about. It was, oh, I so get what we didn't do. And so the learning from that is, is astonishing. But I hope if you combine that learning with respect and a sense of reality about the exercise itself, it, it sets up an expectation of this is a process I can always learn from. It's a process I can always do. And many of them instantly say, oh my goodness, this is a process I could use someplace else. Maybe I won't do a creative brief later in my career, but I bet you the process of asking somebody else to role play for me and have them take that on that idea and me to run my ideas by them is so replicatable in so many other fields that I think that that too plays out quite nicely in terms of, of student takeaway and learning. It, to me, it's, it's almost like I, I started thinking, how could I implement this type of a atmosphere into something that I could go forth and promote in the future.
Yeah, it was basically the framework that we could apply to any brand, any workplace. So definitely, um, <coughs> Professor Stone just opened to us sort of a new world of possibilities as marketers, as professionals, and that is very valuable. Yeah.